everybody on Wall Street loves to be a contrarian, which is why so many commentators keep trying to minimize the impact of a, of a half-point rate cut. Not me. No matter what common sense dictates, there are always people who think they know better than common sense, and they don't. There are so few advantages to age, I gotta tell you. I mean, I can no longer jump up and down through a full ping song at a Benioff Hospital benefit like the one we went to last night, to name just one age-related indignity. But, but by just showing up, I knew better than the posers who told us that a 50 basis point cut was bad news because it was somehow a sign of panic? Funny thing, while these critics were polluting your minds as so many tanneries polluted the old Gowanus Canal to the point where it was flammable, the stock market exploded today, Dow gaining 522 points, S&P surging 1.7%, NASDAQ pole voting 2.5%. I got to tell you, it was a thing of beauty. <laughs> Bears initially had their way with the, with the markets, once again distorting a, a, a view immediately, right? immediately after the announcement at 2 p.m. yesterday. They fooled enough people to start blowing out of stocks in a frenzy, especially tech, uh, as if somehow those are the stocks that always get hit on a rate cut. How, that's just not even true. There were also people who panicked, they, and, and then there were panic, uh, people who thought that the Fed panicked. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, look, they're easily swayed by the market's action. And then just something commentator after commentator came on air, our air, everywhere else, and just echoed this negative narrative out of nowhere. After all, who wants to go against the tide and question why sellers are streaming for the exits? They're going to steamroll you. You don't want to be in the way of that. And you know what? That's really how it happens. That's how the afternoon aftermath of a rate cut, not a hike, but a cut, snowballs into a giant avalanche of people who've been instantly brainwashed into thinking that a 50 basis point easing is somehow bad news. That's what we saw yesterday after 2 o'clock. That analysis was always absurd, just pure foolishness, which is why the market came roaring back today when it had a little breathing time. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.